The war in Israel is affecting thousands in our area. New York City is home to the largest Jewish population of any city in the world outside of Israel, according to the mayor's office, and nearly half live in Brooklyn. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger is there tonight, showing us how communities are mobilized to help. Finding a purpose through the pain can often be hard, but for Brooklyn father and Israel Defense Forces veteran Ariel Glazer, it's second nature. When he heard that his Army Reserves unit needed specialty backpacks, he launched a fundraising campaign. Within hours, the backpacks were ordered and Tuesday arrived in Israel. For me, backpacks have always been one of the most important pieces of equipment because sometimes you can be walking for hours, days. Channeling anger to action, former Brooklyn Assembly member Dove Heiken, who founded a nonprofit called Americans Against Anti Semitism, boarded a plane bound for Tel Aviv on Tuesday. I've been there a hundred times, but this one is probably the most important moment to actually be there. Other Jewish organizations have also remained there despite the danger, including Eric Goldstein, CEO of UJA Federation of New York. I met with the president of Israel and his wife uh, to talk about uh, the importance of the uh, New York Jewish community, but all communities, to uh, support the needs of this country. The philanthropy already allocated $10 million in emergency funding and has since collected $20 million more. Brooklyn is also the headquarters of Hatsala, the largest nonprofit ambulance service in the country. CEO Rabbi Hill Kalish says his wife, daughter, and newborn grandson are all in Jerusalem. So are more than a hundred ambulance volunteers. The nature of the Hatsala member is to save a life. If we tried to get on the phone and ask them to come home, they would hang up on us. Most of these volunteers were there on vacation to celebrate a Jewish holiday. Overnight, they had to switch to emergency mode, responding to mass casualties, but this is exactly what they're trained for. As thousands of local congregations join in prayer daily. In Borough Park, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News.